What's going on, guys? The Inhuman P10. I'm back with more fake granddaughter. We're still doing interludes. I guess. I guess I say still doing interludes, but because of how I handle interludes now, it's different. I mean, for me, I've done like three. Is it three or four? How many have I done back to back so far? I don't remember. For me, I've done three. I've done like three or four back to back. For you guys, it could have been just oh, there's one. Camelot, and then another Camelot, another Halloween event. Uh, yeah, anyways, we'll see how this all goes. Anyways, uh, it's uh, by viewer request of my Discord, and by viewer request, I literally said, hey, tell me an interlude to do, and they said El Meloy. Doing El Meloy. And totally not as an excuse to basically keep an El Meloy in my party at all times. <laughs> all right, uh, what do we have here? Let's see. More to the end. Roma. I said I. It sounded like I said Roma, but I said Rama. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's sabers I don't have aside from Mordred and fucking uh, Artoria, aren't there? I think. Actually, you know what? No, let's bring uh Amakusa. There we go. Yeah. Amakusa is cool. All right, we're also gonna. I guess I can keep the, uh, let's, let's get rid of the kaleidoscope. Where's my, uh, where's the soccer one? There it is. There we go. Imaginary elements, because well, it's El Meloy. He's not really going to, it's not like he's going to be attacking on it much. There we go. El Meloy. And for backup, I'm going to want a saber. So, or saber support to, um, Fergus, by the way, was his name that I was trying to think of. And I was just like, Aah. and I just completely like brain dead. Beep. Anyways, um, what am I looking for? There he is, Kentucky Rider. All right. Uh, let's get this CE off you. Let's put. You have a buster, right? It's a buster. Yes. Caliborg is a buster. All right. So let's do this. Interlude. Heroic spirit possession. It's time to see if I get any more information about how shitty this skill is. Oh, speaking of which, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Lord El Meloy II. I'm a mere human who became the spirit origin of a famous strategist from the Three Kingdom period in China. No, he's not! His bond says otherwise! According to his bond, this is not actually El Meloy II. This is just a fusion of memories and the look of El Meloy II, but it's not actually El Meloy II. Yeah, clearly they had no idea what they were doing with, like, pseudo-servants at this point. The second... Right, I was originally a third-rate noble from the countryside. For certain reasons, I took after my mentor and inherited his name. By those reasons, I mean... I'm not gonna tell you, because I expect you to already know. Excuse me, Lord El II. When you say Lord, do you mean the Lord of the Mages Association? Yes. I represent one of the twelve noble families that operate the Clock Tower, the center of the Mages Association. The lowest ranked, though. Did you know Director Olga Marie? What time period are you from, anyway? Same as Vaini Zanagi. I'm from the 21st century. Before I knew it, I became a pseudo-servant. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> a pseudo-servant, like me. Are you someone that was empowered by heroic spirits? The result was the same, but the idea is different. There's nobody identical to you in this time. Originally, it's impossible to form a demi-servant, just the same as it's impossible for a daffir to be born among vamp- Dampir, to be born among vampires. Dampir, I believe, is half-vampire, if I'm right. As I'd expect of a clock tower mage, you probably understand the logic behind the impossible. Also, vampires in, fa in Nasiverse lore are way different than other vampires. 
and I'm not just talking about like <laughs> I'm not just talking about like uh what the fuck are they called in Tsukihime? Uh, hi, I'm completely blanking on the name of a creature. The things from Tsukihime, I'm going to leave it at that. De Dead Apostles, there we go. Just trying to remember. Alright. As I'd expect of a clock tower mage, you probably understand the logic behind the impossible. That's right, MASH is an extremely unique example of success. It'd be hard to recreate an accident. I'm glad to hear that. I would have suggested immediate dismantling of Kialda if it was a, such a screwed up organization. Woo -hoo! Sorry, that was insensitive of me. You weren't guilty of anything, ma'am. I would like to correct myself. This is totally not how Elmoloi II would act. I've read Strange Fake. I haven't read the Elmoloi 2 case files, though. Probably should. I think only one chapter is translated, though. Or is it one book? I forget. Anyways. Well, you can't deny that creating Demi servants was an inhumane experiment. Your feelings of disgust is justified, Lord Elmeloy, even more so if it comes from justice and morals. That aside, please continue your explanation. What are pseudo-servants? Ah, yes. I shall answer that question. A pseudo-servant is someone possessed by heroic spirit. Those heroic spirits who can't become a servant. Perhaps they are higher beings like divine spirits, or their spirit origins can't be created by Kialda. Hold on, let me translate this. Bullshit reason to include... To include characters from the series, but call them servants. There, I think I summarized that pretty well. In order to summon them as servants, human vessels are sometimes used. That is what a pseudo-servant is. Using a human body as a catalyst to forcibly summon a heroic spirit. How does that work with you, though? Because as we've established, you're not technically a pseudo-servant. At least by that description. Because human bodies don't magically become their younger selves... I don't know where I was going to go with that. I pretty much hit everything I needed with that. I was going to extend it, and I was just like, what else do I say? Nope, ran out of ideas. Elmeloi is just kind of like the were is kind of their first tiptoeing into the pseudo-servant thing, but clearly they had no idea what they wanted to do with it. And instead of actually retconning his bonds to reflect that, they just ran with it and said, oh yeah, he's a different kind of pseudo-servant. One where... He's not the real person's body. It's an amalgamation of something else, as I've gone over. If you haven't seen that, check one of the what you missed until you find out where I went over that. <laughs> Question marks? Oh, uh, Vaney's and Agu looks confused. Obviously, since it's a particularly unique case, right? In short, it's someone being possessed by a ghost. Then the psyche of the possessed is overwritten by the heroic spirit. I'm the opposite. I took only the role of Zhong Liang because Western logic doesn't match Eastern logic. That literally makes no fucking sense. But with the greater good of protecting humanity in mind, we share a common goal. That's why after a discussion with the strategist on who should control the body, I ended up staying because my knowledge of the modern eras. Uh-huh. Of course. How silly of me to think otherwise. I see. That's very much Zhong Liang. Just like what he did at the end of his life. The important thing was for someone to execute his strategies without, particip without participating on it. In other words, he found the one capable of his strategies. Capable of his strategies. So he decided not to appear. That's right. We've only talked for a bit, but it's obvious he's more of a monster than history described. I didn't feel like I was talking to a human. Shame we'll never get to talk to him, because we have you instead. Because FGO decided... Fan service 
was more important than showing this potentially new character. No offense, I like El Melo the Second, but I fucking hate. Here's my confliction, and I've said this multiple times probably elsewhere. I like El Meloy mechanic-wise. He's a good support unit, and I love him there. Lore-wise, in this game, he makes no fucking sense whatsoever. He completely defies the later established rules of pseudo-servants, and then continues to just become... It feels like in an attempt to try and fix that, they just made him weirder. Oh yeah, he's not actually El Meloy II, it's just this weird combination of spiritual energy that took on the appearance, likeness, and memories of El Meloy II, and f became possessed by Zhong Liang. Because, of course! Um, and it just feels like that's only there to justify why he becomes Waver. Which realistically also doesn't make sense going by servant logic. As we've established, servants don't age. It's literally just there for fan service. And that's what I hate about him. He's just fan service. At least with the later on pseudo servants, they are at least different enough a lot of them share a lot of the traits with their host body which makes me laugh at that oh yeah their mind is overwritten kind of thing <laughs> yeah um but they're different enough and they're still supernatural as a case in point like ishtar is actually fucking floating around during her battle animations but i hate el meloy the second as an FGO servant. He makes no sense. Alright. <sighs> foo foo! I would have been incinerated if I was just a human. By becoming one with the heroic spirits, I temporarily became a servant. Oh, so we're not gonna touch on that weird part of your history. Okay, see, I was hoping they were gonna shoehorn it in here, but now this is cool. Follow me. I'll show you proof. Around here is fine. Enemy approaching. Prepare for battle. You will immediately see if I can fight as a servant. In turn, I will assess your potential as a master. Kill two birds with one stone, right? <sighs> Gow! Oh no! The dreaded Saber Lion! They're already pumped up. What did you do, Lord El Meloy? Well, this will be interesting. I use some pheromones to excite them. Be careful when you fight, ma'am. The enemy is on a rampage. Don't let your guard down. Master, I think he's gone too far with his logic. Oh. No, that's cool. I guess I'll just wait. All right. Now that there isn't an update to interrupt me. <sighs> we like you to go back to the title screen for literally no fucking reason. What does that do? Decrease the single for increase your... Oh, in each turn, okay. Hmm. Alright, well, go to town. Hi. And that's why you're here, Fergus. Hmm. Also, I guess technically why uh, Amakusa is here too, but eh. Amakusa is less important. He's just here because I don't have him. <laughs> And since El Meloy is constantly here, I can pretty much just do whatever the hell I want. Hi. Yo. 
ろしい There we go. Aul. Tactician's command. Alright, what does this do? Crit stars each turn? Sure, why not? Alright, and twin arm big crunch. Just still a dumb name for an attack. That leaves us to play. So let's play. <laughs> Turning formation, and just a final buster. Fence down. Khaled Borg. Ah. Uh, no problem. Hopefully the second half isn't as wordy. Granted, a lot of that was held up by me bitching and moaning about it. Maybe that's why he wanted me to play this one. Alright, and I can really bring whatever the hell I want, so... Tempted to bring that Bren, but at the same time, she'd get destroyed by the Sabres. I don't particularly know what I'm fighting. We'll use this person's, uh, Saber Shiki. And in return, I'll take your life. No. Um, I'll bring. Tomo Cat. Sure. I don't think I've used her in a while. Alright. The enemy response is still spreading. It's massive. Just how excited are they? This is no time to be an odd doctor. Do something. Sorry, there's nothing I can do besides scanning the area. You just have to handle it by yourselves. Got it. It means I can only rely on Senpai, right? <laughs> Same as usual. Let's do this. I see. Aren't you a courageous one? No plans, but you sure got guts. Huh. Not bad at all. You remind me of myself in the past. If that's the case, I shall show you my true strength. Of course, this is merely on the path of me reaching him. But it seems this will be a fruitful contract. Contract. Contact? Contract. Whatever. He's talking about a Skandar, by the way, unless he, if he wasn't subtle enough. Werewolves. <sighs> Sure, God, every time she yells, it sounds like she's saying butt chicken. I don't know why, it's just what I hear. I just hear butt chicken. See, butt chicken. I was gonna say, wow, they're gonna beat the shit out of her. One up. One up. If I can get her up just a little bit more. There we go. This might be enough to do it. Close enough. 
least I hope it is. It'll need to be. Alright, well. Monster is some strength. Oh. You have a quick base stumble fan attack. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, spaghettios. <laughs> Cat scratch fever. Give me cat scratch fever. Cat scratch fever. Give me cat scratch fever. Right. Yeah, this will definitely be enough. Well, they don't really like El Meloy. It's the guise of death perception. Now then. See how this turns out. Oh yeah, I stunned two of them at least. Knowing my luck, those will be the two I kit. Well, now the other one's got weaker health. Never mind. Die. May death take you. Oh, that was stupid easy. A lot easier than, than uh, the ones I did back there, I guess. Battle is over. You know, I'm three times more tired than usual. <laughs> Good job. Woo! I'm relieved that you and Fo both made it. Those wild beasts had their eyes on the two of you. I was doing everything I can. Woo! You're done. So how did I do, Vaini Izanagi? I didn't put a space in my words. I don't know how to read that. Did I pass? All right, cool. That's good. I'm finished assessing you, too. As you can see, I can fight as a servant. You might be unsatisfied with my firepower, but I will make up with my intellect. Oh, he's definitely a first-rate servant. I mean, all pseudo-servants are exceptional cases to begin with. Vane, eventually you'll be able to meet a pseudo-servant he fused with a god, I think. Foreshadowing! Probably. Well, I am a special case. Most vessels chosen to become pseudo-servants. In other words, mages already possesses, possess powers. And when heroic spirits possess humans, they will choose those who clearly resemble themselves. So of course they are powerful. Those integrated will then transmigrate into a third personality. A new personality, if you will. Those kinds of servants are troublesome. After all, they tend to think like divine spirits. They will probably be completely selfish and ask for all kinds of impossible. Then you'll know that I'm one of the better ones. Well, let's save that for the future. Good job, Mash. Vane. Come home with Mr. Elmeloy the Second. I couldn't fight with you, but I can welcome you home with a warm cup of tea. This doesn't make me not want to break Elmeloy's teeth in. Yay. Oh god, he has another one? Goody. Alright, well, let's go look at his profile. When did I get Elmeloy? Oh, there he is. Alright. 
Pseudo servant, your spirit that cannot become a servant for that cannot become a servant for some reason. They have been summoned to the world by using a human body as their vessel. Several other pseudo servants have been confirmed, aside from Lord El Meloy II. I mean, if they've been confirmed, where are they? Or is that not how this works? I don't. By the way. The servant is neither El Meloy II nor Zong Liang. Both of their strength fused together and enabled the servant to unleash powers it wasn't able to before. The thought patterns and motions are based on the vessel El Meloy II. <clears throat> Anyways, um, that's going to be it for now, guys. So until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta.